welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to discuss about area of plane figures. According to your syllabus, first of all, let us recall the area of the plane figures you have already learnt before. The first is area of a square. It is equal to the product of its length and breadth. When it comes to a square, you know the length and breadth will be the same. Now, if you take this square whose length is 5 centimeters its area will be 5 centimeters into 5 centimeters that is 25 centimeters squared and when you come to an area of a rectangle it is quite similar to the area of a square that also is equal to its product of length and breadth so area of a rectangle if you can take as an example in this case where the length is 7 centimeters and breadth is 5 centimeters its area will be 5 into 7 that is 35 square centimeters. Moving on to the next type of plane figures that is area of a triangle. When you come to an area of a triangle it is equal to half into base into its perpendicular height from the taken base. Remember that very carefully you have to very carefully select the base and the perpendicular height. In simple terms you can write it as a is equal to half into base into height where b and h refers to base and the perpendicular height. Now take this triangle here, it's very clear, 8 centimeters is the length of the base and from the base to the vertex of the triangle, the perpendicular height is 5 centimeters. So once when these values are applied to the equation, you get it as half into 8 into 5 centimeters and you know this 2 here can be cancelled with 8 and here you will get 4. So 4 into 5 gives you 20 centimeters. Moving on to another example. Now in this case, here the base is considered as the side of length 12 centimeters. And from that side, the height of the triangle is given as 5 centimeters. So uh, you have to clearly understand how to identify the base and the perpendicular height. And then when the equation is applied always remember to write the equation now in this case uh, 2 and 12 can be cancelled once again 2 and 12 here and you have 6 2s there so then 6 into 5 that is 30 square centimeters moving on to the next type of plane figures that is area of a parallelogram when you come to a parallelogram, its area is equal to the product of base into the perpendicular height. So it's uh, simply A is equal to B into H. And if you take this parallelogram, the base is 10 centimeters and the height or the perpendicular height from this base is equal to 8 centimeters. So here A is equal to B into H and that is 10 into 8 centimeters which gives you 80 square centimeters as the answer. So that's very simple and uh, moving on to the next type of plane figures that is the trapezium. Trapezium is something like a skirt in simple words and area of a trapezium is equal to half into sum of the parallel sides into the perpendicular height. So it can be written like this here A and B refers to the lengths of the parallel sides of a trapezium. If you take this trapezium, here the perpendicular height is very simple and clearly understood. It is 8 centimeters and if you see carefully the side of length 6 centimeters and 10 centimeters are parallel to one another. So instead of A and B we have to substitute this 6 and 10 centimeters. So half into A plus B into H is the equation. Let's substitute A is 10 and B is 6. So once the bracket is simplified, you get 10 plus 6 is 16. And now we can simplify. We can cancel this 2 with 16. And that will give you 8 over there. So it gives 8 into 8 centimeters. That is equal to 64 centimeters squared. Moving on to the next type of plane figures and that is something different from these because that is a circle. 
when you come to a circle the area of a circle is equal to the constant pi into the square of its radius i hope you remember what radius is and the value of pi as well because you have already learnt it when you studied about the circumference of a circle so we can write it as a is equal to pi r squared like this now suppose there is a circle like this whose radius is 7 centimeters and let us see how to substitute values and find the area a is equal to pi r squared you know the constant pi is equal to 22 over 7 so when you substitute values for pi though it is given or not you can take it as 22 over 7 or in decimals it is 3.14 and then r squared is 7 into 7 so here very simply one of these sevens can be cancelled with these sevens and then 22 into 7 will remain and that gives you 154 square centimeters and this is how you have to find out the area of a circle hope i made myself clear with finding the area of plane figures see you with another smart math tip until then goodbye